referee? What's your, what's your thoughts on the game and where the guys are at at the moment? Yeah, Roy, it's a, I mean, a bit of a dream start for us that, you know, to be able to win, um, to, to win, not only win the game, but to win it with a bonus point is pretty special. And, uh, Sam Carter was saying in the media this morning that these derby games are almost like a, you know, it's almost like a 10 point win because not only are you winning, but the opposition's not winning. So it's a really, it's a really important win for us. And um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously very pleased with that. But I think, uh, to be honest, I think the real story of, of, the, of the game is is what we've been able to achieve as a just as a team over the last c couple of months you know like i think i think we look like a team and we feel like a team you know and i think a lot of people didn't think that was going to be possible and there was a point in the game um where uh, there was a stoppage in play and our boys all came into a huddle and they all put their arms around each other I'm not sure if you noticed that but it was obviously a <coughs> spontaneous thing but it was pretty special you know i think the boys really are playing for each other uh, and i think that's that's what's making the difference at the moment a little more than a month ago, you lost about 30 points in a trial game. I know trial games, you know, can be, can be a little bit then, obviously, fast forward to tonight. Is that a, a really raw sort of piece of evidence to suggest how far you guys had come in the last five weeks, or should we not read too much into to that? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, th I think I think probably you know what really won us the game tonight, uh, aside from from the cohesion or the team spirit, was just our defence. You know, we didn't have the ball a huge amount, and we really defended well. We were we were pretty physical in defence, and um, that created us with some opportunities. And um, that's a really nice thing to be able to build a game around. You know, so uh, I felt we probably did that against the Sunwolves last week as well. So. Um, we're very pleased with how that part of the game's going, but there's there's definitely things in our game that we need to improve on, and uh, we by no means the finished product, you know. Tom, between the early discipline of this side and the shell shock, with the penalty count, where we're moving after the Yeah, it was something we spoke about during the week, um, and I think, like Dave said, we've got a few things to work on, and that's definitely at the forefront of those things. Um, uh, yeah, it definitely needs addressing this week. Uh, it wasn't helpful having a player in the bin, but the way we worked for one another um, and the spirit that the team showed and defended, I think, you know, we'll take it and turn it into a little bit of a positive there. Mm. The statistics of teams that win on a six-day turnaround in Super Rugby is very low. I think, I think for the last couple of years, only 30% of teams win on a six-day turnaround. So we've had a six-day turnaround with travel, uh, international travel from Japan. And I think uh, a lot of this win was set up by the way the players committed themselves to their recovery almost as the final whistle went in Tokyo at this time last week. Um, they really um, they did everything that was expected of them um, and uh, they got their bodies right and I think the Brumbies did the same travel and I thought they looked a little bit flat against the Reds two weeks ago so I think it's a real credit to our, our boys the fact that they managed themselves through that and, and got to win on uh, what is statistically a very difficult uh, um, uh, scenario I guess. Tom, uh, 20 minutes ago, uh, Will took the initiative and, and kicked for touch. Uh, was that more a case of you not making it in, in time from centre to, uh, to have a shot? Yeah, the um, the way the leadership group works in the team, there's four of us. So the game callers, which is Willie and Jack and myself, who uh, was acting captain. So um, Willie screamed at me and said he was going to go for the line. And I think I just I just backed him there. He's played uh, you know, a huge amount of tests for the Wallabies. So if he makes a decision and all the boys back him, you know, we can't go wrong. Tom, considering how long you've been here for, can you dare to talk publicly about potential of making finals and also stuff. I know we're exceptionally early in the season, but clearly people can start to hope and dream and you know, they could see that team in the finals for the first for the first time and like you sort of revel in that sort of thing or you have to try and Listen, I'm not gonna count my chickens. I think uh, taking wins um, and three in a row for us is a starting point. I think we just gotta take them week by week. It's giving us confidence. Um, and just reinforcing what all the hard work we've done over the preseason. So for us as a team it's great to win, it's just rewarding all the hard work we've been doing. Dave spoke about the camaraderie in the team. I mean, is there a really, you've like been in the Rebels for a long time, but is there a really tight bond amongst this team and maybe because of the shared experiences the last year? Yeah, it, it played a part that uh, one of the teams, the Rebels, all, the, all Perth, uh, were going to get the chop. So I think we were both experienced a bit of the uncertainty there um, that came along with that. Unfortunately, the force uh, were dealt the final blow, but. Uh, for us, it serves as motivation. We were kind of the, 
the outcasts of Super Rugby. Everyone was willing to let one of us two teams get the chop and um, the fact that we've all come together and we're putting in some solid performances is just showing everyone that we're here to perform and we're, we're here to contest and we're here to win. Was, was anything said in particular in that sort of 16, 17 minutes to go in the game? Because you guys got those tries all in after that sort of, sort of, sort of break like that. Uh, looking back on that last 20 minutes, um, and I spoke about it during the week, it was going to come down to, to our fitness and how hard we're willing to work for one another. Uh, I think you can see there the way we reacted to loose balls and the way we scrambled for one another and backed up after line breaks just emulated what I was talking about. So I uh, told you it was going to come down to fitness and physicality, and I think it did. Tom, in your head at the start of the year, did you have a period of time in the year in your mind that you thought that this would genuinely start to click? considering, you know, the, the off-season that you guys have had. Like, when when did you really think you'd start to hit the straps? And therefore, I suppose the second part of that is, are you surprised that it's come about so early? Um, I'm not surprised. It was always going to be a bit of a challenge bringing three groups of players together. Uh, for us, the hard work you do in the pre-season is as good as bonding as you're going to get. You're struggling and you're, you're sacrificing a lot with each other. You get to see each other bleed, you get to see each other sweat, and you grow as a team together through that. So the preseason's put us in good stead. Our SNC has been super. It's been the best though it's ever been since I've been at the club. We're all fighting fit and strong. So um, yeah, it's really positive. That, that was very physical tonight, uh, off a six day break. Are you at the point now where you start during the week to manage things rather than push hard at training? Yeah, funny enough, Jeff. I'm probably thinking the opposite. <laughs> I'll probably go a bit harder next week. We've, we, we're fortunate that we've got an eight-day turnaround now into our next game. So uh, we had a shorter week this week, but we now benefit a little bit from that next week. So uh, athletically, we'll go pretty hard next week. Like what we don't want to do is, is lose fitness in the season we actually want to get fitter as the season progresses you know so this was a bit of a down week for us in terms of the workload that we, we took on board but next week will be pretty tough uh, but I think that's important because um, you know as pleased as we are with the, with, with the first three games we know that you know we, we want to be we want to be competitive come come sort of June and uh, and in order to do that we've got to, we've got to get better and better every week and fitness is just one part of that Yeah, well, I mean, we obviously haven't seen them play yet. I think uh, I think what they have shown is a bit of fighting spirit, you know, like they they seem like they've been out of the odd game and then they've, they've fought back. So that they're never going to be easy, and certainly playing them in Sydney is never going to be easy, you know. So we, uh, um, I, I think we probably also learned to listen this week in, to, in that we just focused a lot on ourselves. You know, um, we, we weren't too stressed about what the opposition were going to bring, and I think I think we'll probably take that same mentality. We know what we have to do with our game. And I think if we can tick off some of those things and just week by week just try and get try and get that little bit better every week, then I think we, you know, we can become quite hard to stop uh, over time. Dave, what did you make of Ross Haley Penny's um, performance in the in the fast game? Yeah, I mean, I said before the game, you know, like um, <laughs> in a weird way, I was we I was. I was pleased when Adam was injured because it was very hard to leave a guy like Ross Halepidi on the bench. You know, like he's 122 kilos or something, and he he, he plays like a back rower. You know, he really is a back rower, and uh, he just gets through a huge amount of work, and he's and he's tough. You know, um, so I thought I thought he played really well, and I, th I think uh, I think one of the real points of difference of our of our team is the back five of our scrum, just how how physical they are. You know, like um, uh, it's a contact sport, and I think there's some people in sport in the in the sport that are. Are kind of physical for show, but you know we've got some guys in there who are genu who really who genuinely love it. You know, and the more physical it gets, the more they love it. You know, and so um, um, I think Ross added to that mix uh, really nicely tonight. Dave, you're obviously building something at the force and brought definitely players here. Does this success feel like it's been a long time coming? No, no, I wouldn't say that. I think, I, I mean, I would just, I, I would have taken a win by half a point. You know, I think, I think uh, we see it very much as a journey. You know, like a, I know that sounds a little bit cliche, but we, we, we've done some good things and we've done a lot of things out there tonight that we're not happy with. But um, uh, what we want to do now is just celebrate this one a little bit because we didn't really have a chance to celebrate in Tokyo last week. So because we've got the longer turnaround, we'll just, we'll just take the, the take tomorrow off for, and, and let guys have a little bit of a breather, and then we'll go hard again next week, and um, hopefully we can improve on some of the things that we need to. 
Yeah, so Edzi probably could have played tonight, to be honest. Um, it's really just a pain management thing that he has. Um, um, and I, I just felt, given that, that it's a long season and with, with, the, with the travel and things in the game, you know, uh, the ability to bring in someone in like, like Ross, uh, that it wasn't worth the risk. And, you know, Ross was chomping at the bit to, 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 to get a start, and he did really well when he, when he got his opportunity. So. Any other injuries? Uh, not that I know of at this stage, no. Yeah, I've been in bed last day or two. I'm not feeling so great. <laughs>